words, Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land a desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. For the stars of heaven and the constellations thereof shall not give their light. The sun shall be darkened in his going forth, and the moon shall not cause her light to shine. And I will punish the world for their evil, and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease, and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. Now that you know how to identify the characters in the scriptures, it is time for you to understand how Satan became the god of this world and how Satan has flipped everything upside down. Duality is important for the kingdom of darkness. Through duality is how Satan is impersonating the Most High and the seed of the fallen has taken the identity of the indigenous black people. The world was without form when Satan and the fallen angels were cast out to earth. The earth was a dark place. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. It took the Most High seven days to make the earth a place for the people that are made in His image to inhabit. And on the seventh day God ended His work which He had made. And he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had made. We know Satan and the fallen angels were already here because Satan came to deceive Eve in the garden. Remember, there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels defeat Satan and his angels. After the battle, Satan and his angels were cast out. The scriptures reveal once the Most High made the earth inhabitable, he created man in his image and likeness. The scriptures never said the angels were made in the image of the Most High. The fallen angels have a different appearance from the human species. The scriptures reveal that the Most High set men lower than the angels. However, the Most High made men ruler over the earth. But one in a certain place testified, saying, What is man, that thou art mindful of him? Or the son of man, that thou visitest him? Thou madest him a little lower than the angels. Thou crownest him with glory and honor, and didst set him over the works of thy hands. The book of Enoch revealed that the watchers, the fallen angels, had colored eyes, lighter skin, and light straight hair. We know black people are the original man and woman. The indigenous black people have an appearance of dark skin with dark woolly hair. Since black people are the original people, this would conclude they are the people the Most High made in His image. Because the Most High's creation is dark, this would conclude that the Most High is dark and have an appearance like His creation. Remember, the Most High made man in His image. So God created man in His own image. In the image of God created He him. Male and female created He them. The Most High made man in his image and likeness. How come we live in a society where the people with the complete opposite look to what the scriptures revealed the Most High created man to be become the default to everything? The seed of the fallen is the face to everything. The various Caucasian species can always find representation of themselves everywhere. From high-level government positions to numerous representation on television, religion, and advertisement. Religion is Satan's best system to deceive the people. Over 2 billion people accepted the Christian faith. Christianity promote a graven image that has the likeness of the fallen angels in their seed. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image, or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Jesus is supposed to be God in the flesh. The image depicting the Messiah, God in the flesh, does not correspond with the scriptures. The Most High made man in his image. The indigenous black people are the original man and woman created in the image of the Most High. 
The beast system created an idol that has the likeness of the fallen angels. Force feed this image to the indigenous people for multiple generations. Proclaim the graven image to be the true depiction of the Messiah, God in the flesh. When you read the scriptures, the image do not represent the Elohim of Israel. And the Lord shall scatter you among the nations. And ye shall be left few in number among the heathen, whither the Lord shall lead you. And there ye shall serve gods, the work of men's hands, wood and stone, which neither see, nor hear, nor eat, nor smell. The same scenario for the people that claim the chosen people's bloodline. They supposedly can trace their lineage to David and Abraham. However, they do not know where their so-called brethren, the northern kingdom of Israel, are today. The imposters go by the name Jew. The Most High named his chosen people Israelite. Are you beginning to see how duality work? Satan established his kingdom on earth through the fall of man and duality. By impersonating the indigenous people with the seed of the fallen and impersonating the most high with a graven image, Satan flipped everything upside down and deceived the world. The seed of the fallen and the indigenous people switched identity. The fallen became us. Although history and the scriptures do not support the seed of the fallen as the default, it does not stop them from claiming everything that belonged to the original man and woman. The indigenous people are assisting the kingdom of darkness in stealing their identity and their culture. When they procreate with the seed of the fallen, they are erasing themselves. In addition, they are giving the seed of the fallen the dominion the Most High gave to his people and their bloodline inheritance. The indigenous people need to take a stand and claim their history, inheritance, and control their community. You could always find the seed of the fallen being represented. You cannot say the same for the indigenous black people. Until this day, black people are fighting for representation on television and inclusion in marketing. You can ask any black person and they can tell you it is hard to find a person who looked like them in a position that would inspire them. If you belong to the world, it will love and accept you as its own. The indigenous people do not belong to this kingdom. They represent the most highest kingdom. Therefore, the world hate them. If ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. Satan can only rule through people that represent him and serve him. Could you imagine Satan being successful with people such as myself in power? Absolutely not. The people who share the same belief as me would make it difficult for the kingdom of darkness to rule. Satan cannot rule through me and other like-minded people. Satan cannot stand truth and the words of the Most High. Wherever the will of the Most High is being executed, he must flee. The scripture says, submit yourself to the Most High, resist the devil, and he would flee from you. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Satan and the demons in the flesh cannot stand the words of the Most High. The words of the Most High is a sword. When the words of the Most High is effectively used, it will penetrate the spirit to bring change. Satan cannot have people who represent the Most High in high positions that could change things. It would destroy his kingdom. He must appoint his seed to execute his will on earth. The scripture said, could two walk together unless they agree? Can two walk together except they be agreed? The flesh and the spirit are contrary to each other. Satan operate in the flesh. The people of the Most High operate in the spirit. There will always be a great battle between the two. Channels like this are censored and oppressed because the kingdom of darkness cannot allow this knowledge to reach a larger audience. They fight back by claiming hate speech. If the indigenous people around the world understand the deception and claim what is rightfully theirs, Satan's kingdom would fall. Therefore, the workers of iniquity take great measures to discredit the awakening. Israelites, do not let them discourage you. Remember, narrow is the road that leads to life. A few would find that road. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. 
The people in power all over the world are the various Caucasian species. Even in the indigenous nations, the Caucasian species are ruling behind the scenes. If the indigenous people do not comply to their orders, they are killed. The latest victim is the Tanzanian president. He challenged the kingdom of darkness of the coronavirus deception. He was murdered. The only way Satan could rule is through his people and the indigenous dark people who align themselves with the seed of the fallen. For Satan to rule this world, he must rule through the people that share the same characteristics as him. The scripture said Satan is the god of this world. In addition, the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? The wicked is ruling right now. Anything that pertains to the Most High would be frowned upon in the beast system. If you represent the Most High, the beast system will reject you and place all kinds of labels on you to discredit you. No one who wants peace and unity would interfere with the works of the Most High. Nobody who wants peace on earth would push propaganda in the media that divide and conquer. In addition, Anyone who believed that all men are created equal would not enslave one group of people and assist the kingdom of darkness in hiding the identity of the indigenous people. Neither would they steal everything that belongs to the indigenous black people and live comfortable in their stolen possessions. Presently in the beast system, the indigenous black people are the inferior second class citizens to the Caucasian species. We live in a society where the seed of the fallen treat the indigenous black people poorly and hide behind religion. They use the principles of the Bible to mask their diabolical behaviors. The scripture said you will know them by their fruits. Wherefore, by their fruits, you shall know them. The book of Jubilees revealed to us how diabolical the seed of the fallen were towards each other. Once the watchers sinned and had children with the daughters of men, lawlessness increased on the earth, and all flesh corrupt its ways, that is including the animals. The book of Genesis in the Bible revealed during those days, every imagination of men were evil. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. Today, the seed of the fallen are in power. We are living in the last days. Lawlessness continues to increase in the beast system. Every abomination the scriptures speak against is permitted in the beast system. If you challenge or speak against the people's wickedness, you are silenced, killed, or lose your job. Evil is praised in this society, while righteousness is ridiculed. Presently, we are in the middle of a biochemical attack that stems from the imaginations of the workers of iniquity in high places who wants to see their God Satan's plans come to pass. History can attest to the wickedness the seed of the fallen has done to gain the power they have today. They traveled the world to steal, kill, and destroy. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. While traveling the world, the seed of the fallen planted its seed into the indigenous population. By planting their seed, the serpent seed took the identity of the indigenous people all over the world. The beast system gave the seed of the fallen an inheritance due to birthplace. The Most High distributed the earth by bloodline. The seed of the fallen must use birthplace because their blood do not trace back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, nor does their blood trace to Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Today, the serpent seed claim Egypt, South Africa, and every nation because they were born on that land. The various Caucasian species around the world came from Satan planting tares among the wheat. Remember, the serpent seed origin is Eurasia. But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. There are many Israelites and heathens who do not believe the angels slept with the daughters of men. Many believe the sons of God, the scriptures are referencing in Genesis chapter 6 verse 4, are black men. The book of Jubilee confirm on multiple occasion of the fallen angels sleeping with the daughters of men, creating children that were giants. 
Read Jubilee chapter 4 verse 22. And he testified to the watchers who had sinned with the daughters of men. For these had begun to unite themselves so as to be defiled with the daughters of men. And Enoch testified against them all. Did you know your government hide artifacts that were found that could confirm the existence of the giants today? We have the evolved Neanderthals dwelling among us that is enough confirmation. The book of Jubilees chapter 5 verse 1 confirm the sons of God we read about in the book of Genesis in the Bible were angels. There is a reason many books were removed from the Bible. The fallen wants to operate undetected among the indigenous black population. And it came to pass when the children of men began to multiply on the face of the earth and daughters were born unto them, that the angels of God saw them on a certain year of this jubilee, that they were beautiful to look upon. And they took themselves wives of all whom they choose, and they bear unto them sons, and they were giants. There are a lot of people who claim they are awakened and doing the will of the Most High, yet they cannot believe the sons of God are angels. Yes, the watchers that sin have a seed and their offspring live among us today. To understand spiritual things, you must get rid of the carnal mind. In addition, you must unlearn everything that was taught to you by the beast system. The Most High is a spirit, and those who want to follow him, you must follow him in spirit and in truth. The Most High does nothing according to the flesh. If you want to see the Most High, you must level up. You must vibrate on a higher frequency. The Holy Spirit must become your teacher to understand spiritual things. The scripture said, for we look not on the seen, but the unseen. For what is seen is temporary, and what is unseen is eternal. For we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. We know that Satan imitates everything the Most High does. Because the Most High has a people made in his image, Satan will have people that is made in his image and likeness. The Most High has a chosen group of people. Satan will have a chosen group of people. The Most High sent a Messiah. Satan sent a Messiah to save the world. We live in a society with two different species of people. One group have a dark hue while the other has the exact opposite appearance. Whenever it is the exact opposite, know the root stems from the kingdom of darkness. For Satan to impersonate the Most High, he must imitate the Most High. Israelites, this is where duality play a major role in the kingdom of darkness. In every nation, you can find indigenous dark people and lighter skinned white people. Some evolved Neanderthals do not know their origins. The same way Satan deceived the indigenous people, Satan is deceiving this generation of Neanderthals. The truth is not found in Satan nor his people. We were made to believe we are the curse of Ham. That is why we were enslaved. We were told that we are not fully human and an inferior people. We live in a society that do not care about us. Every heathen nation has conspired against us to cut us off from being a people. They have said, Come, and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Likewise, the evolved Neanderthals are taught to believe they are homo sapiens, favored by the Most High and the chosen people the Bible speak of. They are led to believe they are a superior, blessed, and highly favored group of people. The beast system told them their beginning stems from the Bible with Adam and Eve. The workers of iniquity in high places are aware of the Caucasian species' origins. The workers of iniquity hide the truth to better control mankind all over the world. The various Caucasian species do not know their origins. That is why they take the identity of the indigenous people and claim it for themselves. The scripture said a day is coming when they will confess they have inherited lies. O Lord, my strength and my fortress and my refuge in the day of affliction. The Gentiles shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth and shall say, Surely our fathers have inherited lies, vanity, and things wherein there is no profit. 
Israelites, the awakening is not only for us. The hybrid species are waking up also. They must learn the hard truth. The workers of iniquity in high places know everything. The scripture said we wrestle not with flesh and blood, but with spiritual wickedness in high places. The workers of iniquity keep our scrolls hidden and made public the diluted version. They do this to keep the indigenous people in sin. The longer the indigenous people remain in sin, the longer the workers of iniquity could rule. It is important to repent of your sins and the sins of our ancestors. Turn from your wicked ways and follow the Most High. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Repenting and obeying the laws, statutes, and commandments is what the Most High has been asking of his people for multiple generations. The indigenous people are caught up in following the heathens and the serpent seed. By following the heathens is how we landed in the land of our captivity. This generation must wise up to the kingdom of darkness deceptions. The process of the seed of the fallen becoming the default to everything in the beast system did not happen overnight. The kingdom of darkness have been scheming from the beginning. Israelites, it is time that you commit yourself to the Most High to end the cycle of destruction in the indigenous black people's community. Today, a Neanderthal could pass for an indigenous person because we allow our enemies to control our image and culture. Until the indigenous black people value themselves and the world the Most High gave to them to rule, the kingdom of darkness will continue to rule over you through the seed of the fallen. And I will set my face against you. And ye shall be slain before your enemies. They that hate you shall reign over you. And ye shall flee when none pursueth you. The indigenous black people and the hybrid species of people are two different groups of people. The Most High created a people made in his image and likeness to take care of the earth. Satan infiltrated the creation and planted tares among the wheat to interfere with the affairs of the Most High. The seed of the fallen did not die out or missing like the beast system wants you to believe. The same way many people cannot tell the difference between a genetically modified apple from an organic apple unless it is labeled. Likewise, when it comes to the serpent seed, they may appear human and share many similarities with you. This does not conclude they are human. Indigenous black people all over the world, the time has come for you to evolve into the people the Most High created you to be. Seek wisdom and understanding to elevate in your spiritual journey. For all things are for your sakes, that the abundant grace might, through the thanksgiving of many, redound to the glory of God. For which cause we thank not, but though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory, 